Okay, so Chelsea, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, well, my name is Chelsea O'Connor King. Um, I grew up in Gilton, Colorado, so out in the plains, um, about 50 minutes away from Fort Collins, which is where I played ball for four years um, for the Triple Crown Stars for Dave King, who is the CEO and um, one of the head coaches for the Triple Crown Stars. Um, I also, um, in my adventures, we went to obviously the New York City Experience and we were the first team in 2008 to um, experience that and go through that whole deal, so. Cool. What did you do when you uh, finished high school? Yes, so um, I got recruited to play at the University of Tennessee um, and I didn't stop there. I had a little bit of an adventure and went to um, Boston University and then I came back home and played for Colorado State University uh, and finished up and graduated there. Um, so all D1 schools um, playing outfield. Great. And when did you graduate? Um, I graduated high school in 2010 and college in 2014. Great. Well, tell me what it felt like um, when you got to New York City and um, tell me you know, what it felt like and then transportation. How did you get to and from the ball fields and what that was like? Yeah, I mean... Um, I didn't know really what to expect. I mean, I grew up out in the country on 10 acres, and um, it was a new experience. Um, new York was everything I thought it was going to be, just magical. Um, and uh, I thought it was pretty funny that we were getting off the plane and going off in these little alleys and corners with our huge ball bags, and the catchers had it the worst, for sure, because <laughs> they had a low ground, all of our bats and their bat bags and all that stuff. Great. What was your hotel experience like? Um, it was um, good. Uh, it's very. We were very close to Times Square, so the, um, Times Square was kind of in our backyard, which was really awesome. Um, when we go to get something to eat, we pass right by Times Square, and um, it was kind of the norm for us, which was pretty cool. Um, it's smaller. Everything's smaller, so that was new. We had to put bat bags in between the beds and stuff, but. <laughs> Um, it was fun. It was really fun. Great. Uh, how did you get to and from Central Park where you played softball? Um, we took the subway um, each time, um, which was great. Um, growing up in Colorado, you have to drive everywhere, so it was a new experience to actually have public transportation. Um, that was a really cool thing. Um, and I kind of continued that experience in Boston when I went to school, just how awesome public transportation can be. Mm -hmm. and. Um, just the people that you constantly are in interaction with um, was great. Cool. So what did the crowd think when you all went walking down into the subway with all dressed up in your uniform and your bags? What was the reaction you got from the, from I the mean, we got good <laughs> New Yorkers? Reactions, but New Yorkers are so um, very, you know, they don't care what, I mean, they probably sing crazier things <laughs> and they just, you know, they just accept you as, as you are and, you know, um, we had a fun time lugging our bags through Central Park and um, everyone kind of would stare and see well, what the heck is going, what are 18 year old girls doing in the park, so, yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about um, playing softball in Central Park. What, what was that like? Um, for me, um, as a 17 year old girl, it was, it was probably the coolest thing I've I have one like top five like eloquent just such a charming experience um, you know you'd look around and you'd see these you know of course skyscrapers but you know this beautiful scenery mm -hmm. of what you see in movies you know and um, just to have that experience was super special um, I think you know everyone realized that too when you're there it's just so um, there's just such a charming quality to it so very good how did this experience make you a better softball player? Um, <clears throat> one of the best things that we did out there was Harlem RBI. Um, I still talk about it today. Um, and that was such an amazing time because we got to be with all these girls, um, these little girls for, uh, I think it was probably about four hours that we spent with them on the field. It's this little eloquent field in the middle of, you know, these apartments and uh, you just kind of walk up and there it is, um, which is kind of like Central Park. But um, 
Yeah, they were just adorable. I mean, we had girls saying, hey, you're my PSC, my partner in crime, and um, we just spent so much time with them, and they just, it. I mean, when they, like, attach onto you and you attach onto them, it was just really um, special for, for me to do that, and it kind of helped me to um, realize what I really love. I've run a lot of um, little girls camps for Triple Crown, and it kind of spurred what I really want to do with my time, and so it was it was definitely very impactful. For me. Can you explain to us a little bit more what what Harlem RBI actually is? Yeah, Harlem RBI, um, I believe, is a nonprofit organization um, that takes in kids that are either underprivileged or um, their parents don't have a lot of money um, that are in that Harlem neighborhood. Um, so they have something to go to. They create leagues, they have, you know, t-shirts, they're playing all the time. So it's, and it's all different ages. I mean, we were with girls that were, I mean, not too far from our age. Um, so that kind of made us feel a little bit older and kind of see where we were at. Um, like 16 year olds that were loving to come to practice after they worked or after school. Um, and then we had like eight year olds um, that just lived to come to the field, which was awesome. Tell us about um, when you guys brought some of your old equipment, cleats, bats, balls, and um, donated that to the program. What did that, what was that like? Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, they just, I mean, loved it. Uh, it was something that I'll never forget um, because, you know, we have so much um, kind of going on in Fort Collins um, with, you know, we have equipment that's left and, you know, we take it to lost and found and you don't think that how much that could impact another mm -hmm. program. Um, so when we gave that to them, it was, it was just a, um, a really good, neat um, perspective that we got to see. So. Good. How did this experience prepare you to go off to college? Um, for me, it was more about the developmental part, um, just me as a person, um, kind of appreciating what I have, um, when I have it at that time, um, being present, um, really appreciating each other's uh, uniqueness um, when we were on that trip. Uh, it really... Um, kind of opened my eyes to what is out there in the world um, if I hadn't had that experience and that independence that my team was able to give me um, to go to the subway or to walk down the street and not be scared or whatever the reason. Um, it was just, you know, a very growing up moment for all, all of us, I, I could say. so. Good. When you think about this experience and people ask you about it, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Um, the first thing that comes to my mind is probably just the, the, the scene of all of us rolling our bags off the subway um, and clunking around. Um, we also, we played when it poured rain and like it probably was like four inches in a matter of 20 minutes. Um, we played Red Rover with the Canadian team that we were playing against. Um, and just the independence, like I, I touched on before, um, you know, my coaches were very, you know, we didn't have parents there, and so we could go out and eat when we wanted, uh, or we had a slot of time that we had to be back, and just kind of getting that independence for college, and, you know, making choices, being able to spend money that, you know, we were budgeted for, that kind of thing, um, just that overall experience there. Uh, talk about um, how, you know, being out in such a big city like New York and coming from such a small city that you came from in Colorado, um, how did you feel about your personal safety? Um, I didn't really think much of it um, until, like, I think after a Broadway show when we could go, we had a little bit more time to go by ourselves and it was dark. Um, and you had to figure out how to get back on the subway and we got lost and so that was a little unnerving but other than like the general safety I felt super comfortable um, the adults that were with us um, you know where they were going we had a couple New York people that kind of knew their way around and 
I felt like I was taken care of and um, that I had teammates that were adults enough to take care of themselves too. So <laughs> Okay, good. Uh, let's see. If you had an opportunity to do this again, would you and why? Um, yes, I would definitely do it again. Um, I wish we would have gone, you know, the, the year after that. Um, I would just go up there for the Harlem RBI stuff um, and play in a couple ball, ball games in, the, in Central Park was worth it alone to go. Um, obviously it wouldn't be as a player probably um, to go to New York again, but to be on that experience, I would definitely do it again. Good. What advice would you give a future player coming to New York City for this experience? Um, I would just say to um, be go into it being very open and um, non-judgmental and you know you grew up the way you grew up but this is a whole new place, a whole new um, world with so many people and so many aspects of it to just be open and um, humble about the experience and really take it all in because there's a lot of sensory things going on that are awesome. So.